Let's start the match in three, two, one, go! And straight out of the gate, UMBC and ETAS 1 both stack high in the stationary goals. So they're even at two and two. You saw that for a very brief moment, UMBC had seven points because they had the highest stack in the stationary goal. That was quickly negated by the blue team. As we move through the autonomous period, both teams scoring a mobile goal in the 20 point zone, but the red with three cones on top, blue with only one cone, giving the red the highest stack bonus. So with seven seconds left in the autonomous, both teams are making excellent use of this autonomous time. Red takes the autonomous bonus. Drivers ready in three, two, one, go! Very quick action on both sides. Earns a 60-24 lead for the red at the end of the autonomous period. UMBC now quickly stacking up from the center of the field while ETAS 1 tries to get in position to load from the human loading zone. ETAS 1, Thief River Falls, Minnesota, picking up their first cone from the human player. Meanwhile, UMBC already stacked up high. They've got seven going on eight, and now nine stacked up high on that mobile goal. They look to deposit it in the 10-point zone. One last mobile goal remains for the red, Two remain for blue ETAS one with three on top of that mobile goal. Push it into the 10 point zone with 25 seconds remaining on the clock. UMBC is fast stacking their last mobile goal while ETAS one picks up their third of the four. 15 seconds left to go. I'm not sure ETAS will have enough time left to score on top of that mobile goal, but they're certainly going to try. With seven seconds left, they head to score. Three seconds now, two, one, and time. <laughs>